Here we have two lines. We have line AB and we have line CD. My question for you is how many angles are formed when we add a third line that intersects both of these lines? So let me draw one in for you. All right, this third line is gonna be called a transversal. So we added the transversal. How many angles do you see now? So whenever we cut two lines with the third line, the transversal, we will always get eight angles as you see in this example. Here are two more examples. And what I want you to note is that the two lines may or may not be parallel. So the transversal may have any slope that allows it to intersect both of the lines. So example one on the left, uh, those two lines are clearly not parallel and then it's cut by the transversal. And then in example two, we have two lines that are perfectly horizontal. So those are parallel and it's cut by the, the transversal. I also wanna note that sometimes lines can be just named with one letter. Um, I know the other day we went over this and we talked about having two points on a line and name it that way. But uh, sometimes you'll see examples like this where they just call this line M line N, and then our transversal here is line T. In example one, which angles do you think we call interior angles? Which ones? I'm hoping you came up with angle C, angle D, angle E, and angle G, interior angles. So think about in between the two lines or inside of the two lines uh, are the interior angles. Let's try it again. How about angles in example two? Which ones do, you, do we call the interior angles? All right, I hope you came up with angle three, four, five, and six are all interior angles. Again, they're in between the two lines. Okay, back to example one. Which angles do you think we call exterior angles? So our exterior angles, for example, one would be angle A, angle B, angle F, and angle H. And you see how they are outside of, of the two lines, on the outer parts of the two lines. So we just did interior, the, the, the other ones are gonna be the exterior angles. Now, name the exterior angles, for example, two. You should have come up with angle one, angle two, angle seven, and angle eight are all exterior angles. Here's a quick visual to help you remember interior versus exterior. So there's just the two lines and the interiors, all the angles that be formed in the yellow, exteriors, uh, angles in the blue. So if we added a third line here, the transversal, you can clearly see the angles that are yellow are going to be your interior angles, right? One, two, three, four. And your angles that are in the blue are your exterior angles. There's your five, six, seven, eight angles every time. And just one more quick visual for the interior and exterior angles. So in this example, Again, the exterior angles are one, two, seven, eight, and our interior angles are three, four, five, and six. Another way we're gonna describe angles um, when we're working with these is same side angles, or angles on the same side of the transversal. So in this, an example on the left side, we could say that angles one, three, five, and seven are on the left side on the same side of the transversal on the left side. Uh, we could say that angles two, four, six, and eight are on the same side. They're on the right side of the transversal. Now, sometimes the orientation is a little different, so we may not say left or right. Look at the example on the right side where my two lines are more vertical um, and my transversal is a little closer to horizontal. So in this example, we may say the same side angles are above the transversal, right? So these are one, three, five, and seven are all above the transversal. And we could also say 
that two, four, six, and eight are all below the transversal, so they're on the same side. Okay, you tell me, example one, which angles are on the left side of the transversal? I hope you came up with angles A, C, E, and F. See how these are all on the left side of the transversal. For example two, which angles are on the right side of the transversal? All right, I'm hoping you came up with two, four, six, and eight. Those angles are all on the same side and the right side of the transversal. Let's get more specific. For example, one, which angles are both interior angles and on the right side of transversal? It has to meet both requirements. Should have come up with angle D and angle G. Those are same side interior angles on the right side of the transversal. Example two, which two angles are on the left side of the transversal and interior? So I'm looking for interior angles on the left side of the transversal. Same side interior angles on the left side of the transversal are angle three and angle five. In example one, which two angles are both exterior angles and on the left side of the transversal? Exterior angles, left side of the transversal. The answer is angle A and angle F. In example two, which angles are both exterior angles and on the right side of the transversal? Answer is angle two and angle eight. They are both exterior angles and they're on the right side or the same side of the transversal, which happens to be the right side that I asked for. We will be learning more about special relationships with pairs of angles in this scenario over the next few days. The purposes of this video was just to give us some foundational vocabulary that we can work with to, to discuss different angles within these diagrams moving forward. Please let me know if you have any questions or any issues that you want me to address with this content when we meet.